Hi, everybody. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, hello, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning to the channel, what up, y'all? <laughs> so welcome to your readings for the second half of May. Please keep in mind that these are general readings, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Please do not try to fit anything in where you don't feel like it fits, yeah? This is... Uh, these are readings for a lot of people, so just if it doesn't resonate with you, boop, just let it go and move forward. Um, I do want to, uh, first and foremost, I want to thank you guys so, so much for all of your support. I am very, very happy to be able to do this for you all, um, and I, I honestly couldn't be more grateful for the kind words and the feedback that you have been giving me about um, how the readings are resonating with you. I am so grateful that you guys are here and I am lovingly continuing to do this for all of us, yeah? I also want to thank those of you who have donated to the channel. I really, truly appreciate it. I am doing this for free, um, so, you know, any sort of energetic exchange is greatly appreciated, yeah? You know, I'm extending the energy and you extend the energy back when you donate, so, I thank you all so, so, so very much. Let's see, what else? I am available for private readings. You can find uh, the readings that I offer in the de description box below, as well as my email address. If you would like to order a reading, just shoot me an email and let me know how you would like to proceed. Um, please make sure to take a second to read over the different options that are in the description box below. That way you can either choose what you want and we can streamline the order process, or if you're not quite sure, you can just send me an email slightly describing what's going on and usually I'm able to pick up, you know, which reading would be best for you. If you don't have a question, don't worry. Just come forward and we will talk, yeah? I can just channel the energy and see what, give you whatever messages spirit wants to send you, yeah? So I believe that's it. How about we get into these readings? Yeah? Let's do it. Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for the second half of May 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get into it. All right. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Aquarius for this time period of May 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Aquarius, let's see what we've got for you. Aquarius. Aquarius. <laughs> One more for you, Aquarius, and then I will cut the deck and we'll get going. Okay. A boop, a boop, a boop. All right. <clears throat> Overall energy, Aquarius, we are starting with the all gifted in reverse. So this card is unique to this deck. It is um, a depiction of Pandora and her box of secrets, of tricks, of gifts, yeah. Uh, the All Gifted talks about, oh, and this is the Tarot Apocalypsis deck, yes. The All Gifted talks about um, being aware of oneself and one's gifts and uh, being confident in that and sharing that. When it is reversed, as it is here, um, it talks about not sharing these gifts, being afraid to share them. Um, and I feel like, Aquarius, you are in a moment, or someone around you is in a moment where um, you are, you're, you're, you're coming into the realization of some deeper truths about yourself, and it's causing a bit of trepidation. It's causing a little bit of fear, anxiety even. We have the Six of Cups, in reverse. We have strength, upright, and we also have the page of cups. In this deck, the pages are known as princesses, and the knights are known as princes. 
Um, so we have the Page of Cups here. The Page of Cups is upright. And it, right off the bat, this is immediately speaking to me about um, a new emotional reality. And what's going on here with, um, you know, the All Gifted in reverse and the Six of Cups in reverse. Here's the Six of Cups in reverse. It's saying that um, a lot of this trepidation that you're feeling towards um, honoring yourself in the sense of being true to yourself and and you know sharing these these parts of yourself that you are coming to terms with um, it has a lot to do with childhood um, with things that have happened in your childhood that have caused you to um, close off to these parts of yourself uh, it just this could also be past lives past life experiences that have helped you in you know clamming up in a sense but the pay, but strength is saying that you have the strength, the abundance, the strength, and all all of the strength and the abundance of the universe is at your disposal. Okay, so you could be embodying this strength energy in order to move through this trepidation that you're feeling. Yeah, in your storyline here, we have the four of wands in reverse. We have the three of swords in reverse. So the four of wands in reverse is talking about. Um, it's it's talking to me about a, you know a little bit of a rumbling in the foundation okay or you just don't feel stable you don't feel like you have that support or that stability to move forward um, and it's got you in a bit of, a bit of a three of swords energy in the sense that you know there's heartbreak surrounding this but you're discovering the heartbreak surrounding this like it's it's the realization and the moving through the releasing of this heartbreak that is. Um, represented by the Three of Swords here, that is causing a bit of a, an uproar in your foundation. It's causing a bit of a rumble, yeah? It's causing you to feel a little unstable, which makes perfect sense, really, because you're kind of purging. You know, you're purging this heartbreak. You're purging this these past lives or this childhood trauma that has caused this in the beginning, to begin with. Next, we have the Ten of Cups. Upright, excellent. So emotional fulfillment, ultimate emotional fulfillment with the wheel in reverse. So what this is saying is um, patience and d divine timing is at play. Be patient with yourself. Um, temperance is the official patience card. But what I'm getting with this is that emotional fulfillment is on its way to you. Um, but because of this shakeup in your foundation, because of the difficulty you're having with that shakeup, there is a bit of a resistance in allowing the wheel to turn to completion to be able to bring you this Ten of Cups. It could be also for some Aquarians that um, you want the Ten of Cups, but what you've been experiencing in your reality is the wheel turning in a direction that is not going to bring you the Ten of Cups, or you may not even see how it's going to bring it to you. And that could be where the resistance is coming in. Um, just roll with it. Just go with it. Go with the flow is what the, wheel of, what the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, or the wheel in this deck in reverse, is saying to you. Moving forward, we have Justice in reverse with the Seven of Swords. So this is why you have been experiencing some injustice. There has been deceit. Um, I'm not really picking up cheating or anything. I mean, if you want to call it cheating, you can because in essence, you're cheating yourself. But justice has not been served because there has been deceitful behavior surrounding it, mostly in the form of deceiving yourself in who you truly are and what you truly possess in order to bring forward to the world and to help, you know, make it a better place, if you will. And Aquarians are all about that. Yeah. Justice is also, no, justice is Libra. Um, Aquarius is the star, but you could be dealing, there could be a Libra in your life or someone with Libra, a lot of Libra energy. There all, could also be a Leo in your life. Um, but this is more, I mean, this could be in, in that sense, this is like, could be identifying who we're talking about here. If this is not you Aquarius, if this is someone else in your life. But for the most part, I do feel like we're talking to Aquarians here. Next, we have the, the, the knight. So in this deck, you see here, it's the prince. Yeah, but it's the knight of swords in reverse with the hierophant upright. So now if we're talking, if we're, we want to continue identifying zodiacs, we could, you could, we could be talking about a Taurus here, or there could be a Taurus in your life somehow. Um, but for the most part, we're talking about, I consider the hierophant 
to be the higher self card because the Hierophant is five in the major arcana and our higher selves as spiritual beings are of the fifth dimension. So there is communication here. I'm seeing that there's communication here with your higher self that is helping you lay down this Knight of Swords energy, this uh, rough and tumble, shoot first, ask questions later type energy. Uh, combative even, you know, warlike energy. Um, and the war, and it's it's coming across as warlike energy because it is it was fighting against others and their truths maybe, or um, fighting yourself in your own truth. But now that you're kind of you're listening to this inner guru, so it's it's allowing you to lay down this sword to a to a pretty decent um, extent. Yeah. Next we have the Page of Pentacles with. The two of pentacles. So, okay, so you're, yeah, you're definitely entering into a new phase in reality, which is what the page of pentacles is uh, representing here. And with the two of pentacles, you're really working on balancing out, okay, all aspects of your life. This is not just the, the material, even though this is a pentacles card. I'm talking, like, you're you're really working on balancing everything right now because of this shakeup that you're feeling in your foundation, okay? Next, we have, ah, here you are, Aquarius, the star. And you're upright, so that's good, okay? And I'm really hearing patience because, yes, it's falling under the wheel of fortune. Patience because healing is happening. This is why you're experiencing this shakeup. This is why, you know, you are tapping into the strength of the universe because healing is at play. And that is coupled with the five of cups. Okay, so yes, you're absolutely, you are, it is, it is absolutely acceptable for you to go through to have this mourning period right now especially since you would be if you're dealing with childhood issues you would be you would be mourning right now you'd be mourning the pain that your inner child has been feeling for so very long but understand um two things one that healing is coming it's in the works right now but also yes there are three cups that have spilled here in this five of cups image card but keep in mind look look right behind her you see those two cups back there? That's, to me, that's indicative of the two of cups, which I'll talk about in a second. But overall, it's saying, yes, you know, those three cups have spilled, and what was in those three cups was pretty toxic, but you didn't need it anyway. So, you know, go through your, go, go through the motions, feel the emotions, but then pick yourself back up, turn around, pick up those two cups, and keep walking. Okay? Now, when it comes to the, 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 uh, um, the significance behind the two of cups, the Two of Cups often talk, can talk about reconciliation. And that's what that would be here for you. Reconciliation between you and your inner child. In, and in the healing of this trauma that you're working through. Next, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse with ah, the Ace of Pentacles. So the first thing I thought of, the first thing I picked up when the Queen of, Cords, Queen of Coins, excuse me, Queen of Pentacles came out, um, was uh, a negatively aspected feminine figure in your life that could symbolize your mother. The first thing I thought of was someone's mother is a, is was um, a hindrance here, but it's an uh, but there is a release of this energy that this, this feminine energy represented in your life, and so now uh, the Ace of Pentacles is coming forward for that brand new start uh, materially that I was speaking to with the Page of Pentacles here. Okay, finally. For you, Aquarius, we have the Eight of Wands in reverse with, oh my goodness, look at that, the Two of Cups. Reconciliation is what this is meaning here for you. This could be reconciliation with another person, potentially a soulmate. Um, and in that case, you know, again, the star is saying that there is healing involved here. So just have patience with yourself. Um, but with the Eight of Wands in reverse, there's lack of communication. If this is with, uh, if this is has to do with a soulmate of yours, there could be lack of communication between the two of you right now. But that's okay because ultimately, in the end, healing is still happening, and you could come to a point where you can reconcile if you haven't already. Um, but then also, what the Eight of Wands is saying to me is that it's not it's not too swift. The movement right now is not too swift. So don't expect this, whatever you're healing right now, Aquarius, or whoever is what we're talking about, whatever is being healed right now, is not going to be, it's not going to happen overnight, okay? 
So just have faith. Have faith um, in the universe and have faith in the knowledge that um, you you really you could you, reconciliation is sought out is sought after here whether that's within within you reconciliation with yourself or with another person so focus on that focus on the desire to reconcile more than the time in which it'll happen because if you truly desire it and you take the steps to facilitate the healing that would bring the reconciliation about the universe will deliver it to you. I can't tell you the final outcome of what that moment of reconciliation will be. It could be a moment where you, if you're dealing with somebody else, you two say your piece and then you continue on your own, on, you know, you clear the air and then you continue on your own individual paths. Or it could be that you clear the air and you two come together again. It's entirely possible. All right? There it is, Aquarius. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I love you all and I wish, uh, I wish you well, and I look forward to, um, connecting with you guys again for the first half of June. We are already halfway through the year. Where does the time go? All right, guys, much love, and I will speak with you soon. Bye.